America homeless. Well, I don't really think of America homeless. What I see mostly on YouTube is California homeless, West Coast homeless. And I was wondering why is homelessness so attractive in the Pacific Coast? And I only come to one conclusion, it's not all this way, but it got it started. Hippies. The hippie movement led to homelessness. How did it lead to homelessness? Hippies didn't care about anything, least of all a job. They just wanted to be free to do what they want. Okay. And in the West Coast, they understood hippies. That was their home, the West Coast. So there was little incentive to change hippies on the West Coast. Whereas on the East Coast, in the, in the center part of the country, they were derided. You get derided, you don't want to be a hippie. You want to be a hippie where people understand you and accept you. So okay, we had the hippies. They enjoyed themselves. They had fun throughout their 20s, halfway through their 30s. And then it dawned on them about halfway through the 30s, you know what? I don't have anything. I don't have a home. I'm just a hippie strumming my guitar, painting my pictures. I think I better get a job. All those hippies decided they wanted jobs. And guess what? They weren't fit for jobs. They had no training. All they knew was being a free hippie. So they went out with their long hair and their attitude to try to find work. People didn't want them. People who worked didn't want them. So what happened? Hippies gravitated to homelessness. And it all happened mostly on the West Coast where hippies were accepted and not only in a way they were revered like sacred cows. Now they went to get jobs and they weren't fit for work. If you're not fit for work, what are you fit for? Living on the street in a tent. So I'm not saying all the homeless were originally hippies, but this started the movement on the West Coast. Hey, they're hippies, leave them alone. And they were left alone. They got in their mid-30s with no job, and they slowly gravitated into homelessness.